Smash Junk. Sometimes I get comments on this channel that ask, how do you find these games? Well, to be honest, sometimes I just go to the Wikipedia page listing every Super Nintendo game, and I notice a title I don't really recognize or don't really remember, and I ask, what the heck is Frantic Flea? And I immediately regret asking that because this game sucks. But I guess part of this channel's purpose is to go over bad games like this so you don't have to, lest someone out there find this game in the wild and think it's an ultra-rare hidden gem or whatever. Frantic Flea is one of those games that sounds made up, right up there with Radical Rex and Power Pigs of the Dark Age, but it exists alright, and it only exists to torment anyone who plays it. The gameplay is simple enough, you have to wander around each level rescuing baby fleas, and you lead them to the exit. All you have to do is walk past them and they start following you. There's six worlds divided up into three stages each, and you get three lives and no continues with a password to complete this one, and seriously, I dare anyone to sit down and try and finish this game. It's one of the most irritating experiences I can remember. The big problem with Frantic Flea is that the speed and timing of everything is just off. Your character moves too fast, enemies move too fast, and constantly respawn. Your attack sucks, traps like this lightning bolt have this oddball timing about them, and every time you take damage, the fleas you've collected scatter all over the level and you have to start over and collect them again. Frantic Flea was released in April 1996, developed by House Technica, and I could barely find any information about them because apparently this is the only game they ever made. Probably for good reason, because man, this game is bad. You have to hit these enemies like five times to get rid of them, and since you have a melee attack, you have to be right up close to do damage, and the hit detection is awful. You're gonna take damage more than the enemies do. And really, enemies don't seem to respond to your attacks, and they respawn the split second you leave the area. The jump sucks, and you regularly fall through platforms, baby fleas will regularly jump over you, seemingly refusing to be rescued. Apparently they'd rather just die than continue on, and I don't blame them. Check out this part here, you have to lead your fleas up to this platform here, which takes forever because your jump sucks and the hit detection sucks, and yeah. Let's put an enemy right frickin' here, zooming around with no discernible pattern or timing. Ugh, it's just the worst. Landing basic jumps is such a pain in the ass. I mean, look at this part here. This jump just won't land, and I know it can because I've done it before, and then the second it lands, here comes some random enemy that just respawned. Ugh, jeez. The default control layout should tell you enough about Frantic Flea. The game would have you press A to jump and X to attack, while pressing the Y button to sprint away from enemies, which is completely stupid because, uh, how are you gonna jump while sprinting? Do you expect me to curl my index finger around? I really should have just titled this video, Is Frantic Flea Worth Mangling Your Hand For? Is Carpal Tunnel Worth Getting Today? You can at least change the controls in the options menu, so you can change it to something more sensible. This is usually the part of the video where I try and find something positive about the game and I just can't. Frantic Flea is one of the most aggravating experiences I've ever had playing a game. It's laid out in a way where you're expected to explore, so you can lead your flea buddies to the exit, but exploring is incredibly annoying and tedious because you're just holding down the X button, bouncing off enemies and flailing around all over the place, getting zapped, losing all your fleas and having to collect them all over again, and run through the exact same aggravation once more. Like, jeez, man. Like, who thinks this is fun? Wait, I found the one thing I liked about this game. The bass line here sounds like something out of a Viagra Boys song. I keep expecting some drunk guy to start shouting about sports. Speaking of sports, and I really can't believe I'm saying this, it hurts to say, but I'd seriously rather play Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball than this game. It's that bad. I'm in awe that Frantic Flea came out in 1996. I'm stunned by its awfulness. You could be playing, I don't know, Breath of Fire 2 or Final Fight 3 or whatever else came out around that time, and picking Frantic Flea over titles of that caliber is like drafting Ryan Leaf over Peyton Manning. What's really incredible about this game is that it doubles down on its awfulness. It gets so much worse in the later levels. There's so many blind jumps and platforms that look like you should be able to jump onto them, but you can't. And there's only one way to find out, and that's to die a million times. Longtime viewers of the channel know I like to use the phrase pick up and die for games like this, but this game is more like pick up and shove it into the garbage disposal. So yeah, believe it or not, I do not think Frantic Flea is worth playing today. 
I don't think it's worth playing tomorrow. It's not worth playing yesterday. It's not worth playing with a box. It's not worth playing with a fox. It's not worth playing here or there. It's not worth playing anywhere. It's truly a miserable experience. You know a game is bad when not a single person has posted a walkthrough or a fact in the 25 years that GameFAQs has been around. Playing this game felt like I was sentenced to do community service, like I had to make this video to make sure nobody else plays it. So please, help me feel like I didn't waste my time here, and avoid this game. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.